More testing, more positive cases, and more people heading to hospitals. Seminole County reported 213 people hospitalized Thursday, positive for coronavirus, a new daily high. The growth of COVID is something we're paying close attention to, but the capacity level is still within a manageable range. During a weekly Facebook Live briefing from Top Brass at Advent Health, they stressed they're working to make sure they'll meet the growing need for hospital beds. We created surge plans that allow us to add um, actually uh, thousands of additional beds if needed in a real crisis situation. Right now, Advent Health has stepped up to level two preparedness for existing staff and other moves are possible to add staff. We are working on um, lease agreements for staff groups Groups to come from health systems in areas that are less challenged. All of our local hospitals point out they did a lot of planning back in March and April as COVID-19 was starting to become a major issue. They say those plans can be enacted at any time. The hundreds of extra ICU beds that we can put in place, those plans were made, those are ready to go. Large medical groups like Advent point out they have other locations if specific hospitals have space issues. If three of them are full in the ICU, uh, you, you've got 13 that aren't, and we have the ability to use all of that ICU capacity intelligently. And while capacity preparation was a key topic, so was slowing the spread. Masks, social distancing, they really do prevent it. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.